Welcome to Huts of New Zealand. In this series, I will travel to backcountry huts all around New Zealand to record, review, and rate my experiences to give you a better idea of what to expect when you go hiking around our beautiful country. Today, I'm off to Longview Hut, a very popular, medium-sized hut in the central North Island's Ruahine Ranges. To get there, turn off State Highway 50 onto Ashley Clinton Road and turn left after five minutes onto Mill Road. After 10 minutes, turn left onto Kashmir Road and continue carefully for another 15 minutes to reach the car park at the road end. This is a gravel road that is very steep and windy in places, so a capable vehicle like a four-wheel drive would be advised. The car park has plenty of room, a long drop toilet and covered signs providing information on the track and the forest park. As always, it pays to take a photo of the signs to keep the information handy as you're hiking. Before setting off, make sure to lock your vehicle and don't leave any valuables behind. This car park serves as a starting point for tracks to both Longview Hut and Awateri Hut. The Longview track takes about 2 hours and climbs 450 metres up the exposed spur. The surrounding area was once covered in mature native beech forest, but unfortunately a bushfire over 100 years ago burnt it all away, and subsequently there is little bird life on the spur. You will see remnants of the old forest near the track, as old tree stumps stand out amongst the regenerating scrub. The only benefits of this are the spectacular long views which can be seen along the entire track on a good day. In fact, you can even see Longview Hut up ahead for most of the way. The track is marked by reflective poles, making it easy to follow, even at night, but some sections are very steep, slippery and overgrown. In good weather, the track is suitable for almost anyone, but because it's so exposed and the weather can be so unpredictable, some tramping experience and proper preparation will be needed to get to the hut safely. The track climbs up over a series of knobs and saddles until it reaches the top. From here, take a left to drop down off the ridge, and after a short walk, you'll be greeted by Longview Hut. Longview Hut was built in 1979 by members of the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association and it was upgraded in 1992 by the Department of Conservation. Today it is a fully serviced dock hut with 12 mattresses on shared platforms, a table and chairs, a large kitchen bench with a sink and tap and a wood burner suitable for cooking on. There's also candles around the walls, clothes hooks, drying lines and double glazed windows to keep the warmth in. You'll find an exit at the back which leads to the rear awning under the steep roof. A great place out of the weather to leave dirty shoes and other gear. Outside there's a half covered deck, one long drop toilet, don't forget your toilet paper, a helipad, a woodshed with tools, a meat safe for hunters, equipment shed and a roof filled water tank. It's advised you boil the water before use, but even after boiling and filtering it, I noticed it tasted very smoky likely due to the location of the chimney close to the water intake. Even so, it didn't put me off my backcountry cuisine. There were a few other people in the hut when I stayed in midwinter, which made for a good night of socialising, storytelling and card playing. Meeting new, like-minded people has got to be one of the best parts of staying in backcountry huts. There's also a great cell phone reception at the hut and for most of the track, which is great for emergencies or for keeping in touch with friends and family. A good hut atmosphere depends on having good hut etiquette, so when it gets late and others have gone to sleep, remember to be quiet and considerate. And remember your earplugs just in case it's those that are sleeping who are not being quiet and considerate. It was a calm and starry night when I stayed, so I opted to sleep out on the deck and under the stars. It was a frosty night, but I was nice and toasty in my new sleeping bag. Well, it's not called Longview Hut for nothing. As the sun rose over the horizon, the long views of Hawke's Bay were revealed, stretching from Napier in the north to Dannyburg in the south. The hut and surrounding scrub looked stunning in the orange hues of the morning light. After taking in the views and cooking some breakfast, I packed up my bag and helped sweep and clean the inside of the hut. Remember to take all rubbish out with you, and also sign into the hut logbook with your name and hiking intentions. If you're the last to leave the hut, make sure it's clean and tidy, and securely shut the doors and windows, as high winds could potentially damage the hut. 
Longview Hut is just one of the many entry points into the Ruahine Ranges, with lots more to discover further into the mountains. Passing over the Pahongana Saddle will take you to the highest nearby peak of Oshimori, with panoramic views over both sides of the ranges on a good day, or intense cloud and wind on a bad day. It's a popular spot for hunters, as the open tops make great habitat for red deer. The trails from here take you over the tops to a number of other nearby huts, including Howlett's Hut, Daphne Hut and Iron Gate Hut, to name a few. Overall, Longview Hut is a really great hut to visit for a day walk or an overnight stay. It's easy to get to in good weather conditions, has lots of amenities and of course amazing views. I definitely recommend this hut and I rate it 5 stars. It certainly is one of the best the Ruahine Ranges has to offer. Bookings are not required so it's first in first served all year round. It can be very busy on weekends and holidays, especially during summer, so I'd recommend bringing an inflatable sleeping mat just in case there's no free mattresses when you arrive. Visit the dock website in the description below for all the information on prices and how to pay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of the Huts of New Zealand.